Howdy, folks. From Big Top Chautauqua at the top of Wisconsin, welcome to another episode of Tent Show Radio. I can't believe another year's gone around us at a big top I see there high above the ground. Belly who? Oh, belly who? Funding support for Tent Show Radio is provided by the Bayfield Inn, with over 21 hotel rooms, over 25 vacation rentals, a lounge, on-site restaurant, and rooftop bar, there's something for you at the Bayfield Inn. Any traveler, any season, any meal, your view awaits. More information at thebayfieldinn.com or on facebook.com slash bayfieldinn. And by the Ashland Area Chamber of Commerce, Ashland, Wisconsin. The mural capital of Wisconsin with over 30 retailers in our eight block historic district. Get a free brochure of self-guided mural tours at visitashland.com. And here's your host of Ten Show Radio, best-selling author, singer, songwriter, and humorist, Michael Perry. Howdy folks and welcome to Ten Show Radio from Big Top Chautauqua. Tonight, our very own Blue Canvas Orchestra brings life to the music of Nancy Griffith and John Prine. At intermission, I'll share a story about songwriters and St. Jude. Folks, the show you're about to hear emanates from a special space in a special place. The Big Top is just that. Grand blue and pearl gray striped canvas beauty suitable for a circus, but in this case home to a history of stories, laughter, and music, especially music, delivered live and under lights on a stage that has served names recognized both in our backyard and in the far corners of the world. The big top seats are set directly on the earth, and what a spot of earth it is, green and glorious, atop a hill so high it overlooks beautiful Bayfield, Wisconsin, Lake Superior, and those all-natural waterbound wonders, the Apostle Islands. If you enjoy that vision, if you enjoy what you hear over the course of the next hour, and if you want to see and experience it firsthand, well, please get to know us at www.bigtop.org. It sounds beautiful up here because, well, it is beautiful up here. You ought to grab a ticket and come on up. Folks, this evening's performance features the music of two late lamented but much celebrated and humble masters of putting our stories to song. John Prine and Nancy Griffith's keen observation and wry humor brought their music to life and hit an emotional bone. They were country enough to satisfy my barn boot soul, but literate enough to appeal to the wannabe poet in me. Both John and Nancy performed at the Big Top several times, and tonight those performances will echo through the talents of our very own Blue Canvas Orchestra and Singers, featuring Ed Willett, Molly Otis, Philip Anich, Tom Mitchell, Jack Gunderson, Betty Ferris, Yasmin Bowers, Danielle Diamond, Nepstead, Billy Knobloch, and Scott Kirby. Listen as they perform with joy, with heart, with silliness, and with true musicianship, here now, channeling Griffith and Prine, please welcome the Blue Canvas Orchestra and Singers. I don't want to be standing here with this ticket to this outbound plane. Doesn't feel the same. Talk is cheap and we can talk all night long.
Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Danielle Diamond, and I'm soon to be joined by Scott Kirby. We're going to treat you to a duet. Um, yeah, if you don't know Scott Kirby, we are excited to have him as part of the Blue Canvas Orchestra this year. An incredible, incredible human being and musician. Um, I'm honored to be a part of the show. It's a beautiful tribute to both of these incredible artists. Uh, we're going to be singing Speed of the Sound of Loneliness. Uh, Maybe. <laughs> that was for Andre the Giant. Uh, yeah. He just left. That's what I was concerned about. <laughs> What a 
a big treat it has been this summer to be at Big Top Chautauqua. How many of you here for the first time? Thanks for coming to this show. <laughs> hey, you almost missed it. See ya. <laughs> you know, uh, John Prime and Nancy Griffith had so many great songs, as, uh, as Molly told us earlier. And I always like to say John was a man of many words. And then I leave it at that.
just once in May very blue moon Just one in a very blue moon And I feel one coming on soon There's a blue moon shining When I am reminded of all we've been through Such a blue moon shining Does it ever shine down on you? You act as if it never hurt you at all the only one who's getting up from a fall Don't you remember, can't you recall Just one in a very blue moon Just once in a very blue moon Just once in a very blue moon I always forget I'm supposed to stay downstage because this next tune I get to sing with our drummer, which doesn't happen very often, Mr. Tom Mitchell. I don't know how I can forget because this is such a fun tune. And again, it's a special occasion that I get to bring him on this part of the oh, stage. He's way more excited than you are. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's true, actually. This is like, the, I've been wanting to do this for years. It's only happened like one other time, I think. At a sound check. At probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're a happy man, aren't you, Tom? I am, and I'm, I'm happy too that I got to do a little stage managing. Well, yeah, yeah, I really moving, am. moving the stand. Now you asked me. You're hired. You said I should have said something before the song. It's, I, I could do it now. It's pretty short. About sure. About John Prime. Sure, absolutely. You know that picture of him during Jack's, well, that beautiful song he sang. Didn't he sing that? Whoa. Yeah. Ooh, Jack. But that was John up there, the old, really old guy. And not long before he died. And on his last album, that's the picture on the cover. And in one of the songs, there's the line, when I get to heaven, gonna take this wristwatch off my arm. What are you gonna do with time after you bought the farm? <laughs> we all get to think about that. Right. How true. <laughs> well, I get the pleasure of another John Prine song here. And uh, the first time I heard this song, of course, Bonnie Raitt did it, and I fell in love with it immediately. And I remember being so surprised that um, a man wrote this song, because it is such a woman's perspective. And um, Oh, and you know, the pain and suffering that women endure because of men. <laughs> Some guy answered before I did, yeah. <laughs> You're just brown nosing up to your wife, aren't you? Yeah. It's all right, it works, it works. Proven, proven effective, yeah.
I can hear the buzzing I ain't done nothing since I woke up today How the hell can a person
that's the end of our first set. Stick around for the second one. We'll be back with you very shortly. All right? Thanks so much. From the top of Wisconsin, you are listening to Tent Show Radio. Tent Show Radio is a production of the nonprofit Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua, the Carnegie Hall of Tent Shows. Welcome to Intermission, folks. Listening to the BCO's lovely interpretations of Nancy Griffith's and John Prine's work, I'm struck by the way a thoughtful songwriter can cut to the heart of human nature. Somewhere around the age of 42, I hit that stage where more and more I recognized recurrent patterns of behavior in humanity in general and myself in particular. This workaday predictive ability solves pretty much nothing and, in fact, remains a regular source of frustration and peak. But the upshot is, it makes life more navigable. Good or bad, you sense what's coming and which way to steer. It isn't that you can avoid the collision, but you can buy yourself time to brace or assume a position designed to minimize collateral damage. It isn't a crystal ball type of insight. It's, it's more a low-grade prescience. You look at something the younger you would have accepted at face value, solve for the variables of human nature, and shortly extrapolate a narrow range of how things are going to go. Lately, these instincts have been failing me. Not completely. I've been right about a lot of things I wish I'd gotten wrong. But also, it turns out I've severely underestimated the power of mendacity. Socially speaking, we live in a time of blunt instruments. I have nothing original to say on the subject, and indeed am most effective when I stick to my wheelhouse. Benign domestic mishaps, wry asides, cow references, my incompetence with hand tools. The occasional reflective vignette featuring a tire swing or the hay balers of yesteryear. Every day, today included, I'm grateful to be allowed this little life of mine. Apart from high school football and basic firefighting, I, I've never been a good frontline battler, and I admire those who are, those who lead the way, articulate in defense of truth and goodness. But every day I question if my less fortunate neighbors can rely on me. From my writing desk, I can see a laminated prayer card featuring the image of St. Jude. I bought it for a dollar at the Dickeyville Grotto in southwestern Wisconsin while researching a book based on pareidolia, a psychological phenomenon that explains why people see Jesus in a grilled cheese sandwich or the Blessed Virgin Mary in a pizza. The card is wedged between the wall and the window frame, available in case of emergency. Sometimes when things aren't going so well, I pull out an album called tilt a -Whirl by another thoughtful songwriter named Drew Nelson, and I stare at the card while track four plays on repeat. The lyrics go, In the moonlight I am praying to the patron saint of fools. In the darkness, my supplication, would you light my way, St. Jude. The muted finger picking, the chill organ note, each imply quietude in the face of brute force. Surrender as sweet victory. Sweetest of all, that word supplication, reminding me how I still love the terms of faith upon which I was raised. Supplication, to ask to beg, to know humility. St. Jude, the patron saint of fools, of desperate situations, of lost causes. I figure right about now he's running out of business cards and has hired extra help to answer the phones. I have no trumpet to blow here. Like so many, I just need to get the work done and keep my kids fed. Next week, I'll do my best to lighten up. Maybe talk about the wrens returning to nest in my air conditioner or how I stubbed my gouty toe. But for now, I'm sitting with St. Jude, recalibrating the narrow range of how things are going to go. And I'm also sitting with you, grateful for the music that gets us through. In this case, and in this canvas setting, the music of Nancy Griffith and John Prine, hand-delivered by our very own, here they are again, Blue Canvas Orchestra.
another um, Nancy Griffith song. It's about dancing, so I'm glad you've got to practice around here because I expect you'll be up again. You ready? Almost? Okay. <laughs> close, close but no cigar, but here we go. Chestnut hair. She made the Woolworth cow to shine. And Eddie was a sweet romancer and a darn good dancer. They waltzed the aisles of the five and dime. And they'd sing, dance a little closer to me, dance a little closer. Eddie played the steel guitar And his mama cried cause he played the bars And kept up Rita out late at night So they married up in Abilene Lost a child in Tennessee Still that love survived Cause they'd sing Dance a little closer to me Dance a little closer now Dance a little closer tonight Dance a little closer to me Cause it's closing time and love's for sale Tonight at this five and dime One of the boys at Eddie's band Took a shine to read his hand So Eddie ran off with the baseman's wife Oh, but he was back by a Jew Singing a different tune And sporting Miss Rita back by his side And he sang, dance a little closer to me Traveled with the barroom bands till arthritis took his hands. Now he sells insurance on the side. Rita's got her house to keep. She writes dime store novels and a love so sweet. They dance to the radio late at night. And they say. Cause 
night I was 16 years Hazel eyes and chestnut hair She really made those Woolworth counters shine Eddie was a sweet romancer And a darn fine dancer They waltzed the aisles of the five and dime Five and die, and they walls the eyes of the five and die. I'm singing all the tear jerkers tonight, Jack Gunderson. Yeah. We have a beautiful woman up there playing piano and accordion. And uh, some of you folks may have known her father, Bruce Bowers, who uh, passed away a couple years ago. And now you're here with us, and we're happy to have you. Yasmeen Bowers. <laughs> way on the end, way over in Siberia, playing the bass. He's our friend coming from Michigan to join us, Billy Noblock. On the drums, singing and dancing. Yeah. <laughs> dancing with the stars, uh, Tom. If you haven't seen Tom um, act or do some of his writing, you really should check it out sometime. He does a lot of things over Christmas. Tom Mitchell. Yeah. And the guy who's uh, herding cats constantly with us here, oh. putting these uh, charts together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's right, why do you think he has the Western shirt on? Hurting cats, hurting musicians. Right. It commands respect. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mr. Ed Willett on cello, guitar, singing. This guy, come on up here, we're doing a song. Oh, sorry, come on. Hey, while he's walking up there, we want to also thank Sabrina on the lakes over here, and Tracy is our yeah. stage manager. And bringing you all these beautiful visuals is co-founder of Big Tom Chaton himself, it's Betty Ferris. She's back there. All right, and you guys know Scott Kirby, a lot to love here. Singing.
up there. Yeah, thank you. John Prime was one of the only writers that I've known that had give, given his um, wishes for his burial when he was uh, 20 years old. This is a tune called Please Don't Bury Me in the Cold, Cold Ground. Everybody ready? <laughs> Woke up this morning Put on my slippers, walked in the kitchen and died. And oh, what a feeling when my soul went through the ceiling. And on up into heaven I did ride. When I got there I did say, John, it happened this way. So please don't bury me down in the cold, cold ground. I'd rather have them cut me up, pass me all around. Throw my brain in a hurricane than if I can have my eyes. Death can have both of my ears if they don't hold my side. Yeah, give my stomach to Milwaukee if they run out of beer. Funding support for Tent Show Radio is provided by the Cable Chamber of Commerce, Cable, Wisconsin, the gateway to Bayfield County, where world-class trails, forests, lakes, and adventure await. 
visit CableForFun.com. That's Cable, the number four, F-U-N dot com. And by the Washburn Area Chamber of Commerce, Washburn, Wisconsin, the year-round center of adventure on Shawamigan Bay. Information at washburnchamber.com. And by the Bayfield Chamber of Commerce, beautiful Bayfield and the Apostle Islands. You can tour sea caves and shop our galleries and stores on the shores of Lake Superior. Info and lodging at bayfield.org. And we're brought to you by Bayfield County Tourism. With details on where to play, eat, and stay at travelbayfieldcounty.com. The Bayfield Inn, with over 21 hotel rooms, over 25 vacation rentals, a lounge, on-site restaurant, and rooftop bar, there's something for you at the Bayfield Inn. Any traveler, any season, any meal, your view awaits. More information at thebayfieldinn.com or on facebook.com slash bayfieldinn. The Blue Canvas Orchestra, folks. And somewhere out there, thank you, Nancy and John. Well, folks, that's our show for tonight. Whether you beam it or stream it, we thank you for listening. We're as grateful as a guy who figures even St. Jude likes a good song and a smile. We here at the Big Top would love it if you come on up Bayfield Way or down or over or through for a live show one day. Details always available at bigtop.org. You can visit me anytime at sneezingcow.com. Until next, we share the air, remember, where I come from and... Here at Tent Show Radio, nobody ever says goodbye. They just say, well, I suppose.